Thank you for hearing us again, councillors. Last Wednesday, the US government's National Toxicology Report finalised its eight-year review of studies from countries from all over the world. The overall conclusion is that fluoride is a neurotoxin equivalent or worse in danger to lead. It is dose dependent and the levels we have in the water will inevitably be harming some people in our community when they're combined with our increasing dietary exposures. Countries began to remove lead from petrol and paint in 1971. Our government stalled another 24 years. Are you going to sit by and let them take another 24 years to stop fluoridation in Waitaki and knowingly harm another generation of children? We can avoid the risks and take the safer and more effective approach, dental hygiene and wise food choices. Yesterday, Tauranga City Council unanimously voted to not proceed with water fluoridation until after the judicial review court process is completed. They found the courage and the conscience to do what's right and say no to government. In the unlikely event that they're threatened with prosecution, they'll reconsider as a council. But the Director General has already admitted that she's not looking at enforcement action. She can't bring legal proceedings against councils because she still has not done her Bill of Rights analysis. And where is the Ministry of Health in all of this? This Official Information Act response from last week states that they plan to do not plan to attend any public meetings about community water fluoridation. They will not provide signage for pregnant women and formula feeding mothers about community water fluoridation, nor will they provide pharmacological information. How can they enforce, uh, force a medical treatment now known to be a neurotoxin at doses being consumed here with no dose control, no informed consent, and then refuse to front up to communities? Council, you must push back. Be bold and stand with Tauranga against this madness. We want to stop fluoridation. However, we recognise it as a process. Directions. Here are suggested motions. Um, Cheryl, the time is up that you were allocated. So um, would you, can you please oh, draw it to a close? I just have a, it's one sentence. Um, it's very similar to those that Tauranga passed. It is, if it is costly to decommission and recommission the system, could you lower the dose to the most minimal level possible, 0 0.1 parts per million, or preferably less? And in line with that, we suggest that you move the motion that I've handed around along with any other motions that you see fit to reduce fluoride harms in the community.